<laughs> yeah, yeah, the moment where I go up to her and I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> turn on, I turned on like therapist mode. I was like, oh no, something happened. I was like, it, it was very funny. She looked so, she was like, she looked really like freaked out. Like she was, uh, she was trying to hold a secret. This is Jamie Mann from Country Comfort and you are watching The Arroyo Show. Come on in, you guys. Welcome to the show. This is The Arroyo Show. My name is Brandon Arroyo. If it's your first time here, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. What a guest we have for you today. You can see them portraying the role of Brody in Netflix's new comedy series, Country Comfort, set to release on March 19th. Please welcome Jamie Martin Mann. How are you doing today, brother? I am pretty good. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm happy to be here. You were telling me you just wrapped up school, so it's kind of a cool thing right now. You are acting. You are still in school. You have like kind of a Hannah Montana deal going on. I guess I guess you could call it that. Yeah. School's been kind of crazy with COVID, but uh, we're just working our way through it. I can only imagine, especially senior year. This is the last time yeah. that you go through doing everything. So have you like had homecoming and all that or how did that work? We haven't had anything really extracurricularly in terms of like dances and stuff like that. But, but you know, we're hoping we can try and organize something. Our friends like my friend group's going to potentially try and organize a little get together to keep safe. But you know, we're just kind of living our lives and enjoying enjoying every moment that we can. Definitely. Well, there's so many things that you can still enjoy during senior year, even in quarantine. And for you especially, something interesting to look forward to. This will be your first time as a series regular, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's Am crazy. Amazing. And that's coming up uh, one week away from the premiere now on Netflix. How are you feeling right now? I am just, I'm really excited for everybody to see the show. I had so much fun filming and I really loved creating the character and I loved working with the different actors to create this lovable family. So I'm just excited for everybody to see the work that we've put in and the love that we have for the show and for each other. It's so different when you're on screen versus in theater, because in theater you do a lot of rehearsals to get to one performance, and you may do more than one performance, but once it's done being live, it's kind of done. With something like this, you record it, and then it can be watched over and over as many times as you want, so that's kind of a cool thing. I would imagine something you know you would like to share with your friends, they can go and watch it whenever they want to. Yeah, that's the one really nice thing is, like you said, it kind of is there forever, so I can always go back and look at it, and. It was weird because I've really only done theater in my life before um, Country Comfort. And because it, the show was a sitcom, we actually, for the first four episodes we did before COVID, we had an audience who was who was reacting to our takes. So that was really nice because it kind of helped the transition from going to theater to uh, to film and TV because sitcom is, I, I think, as similar as it gets. That's amazing. And it's, it's such... Like as amazing as theater is, there's sort of a romance around television as well. Like it's it's they're both great and they both have, you know, different things to be excited about. So when you got that call that you were going to be going on to as a series regular, a show that's going to be on Netflix, who was the first person you called and where were you when you got the call? Who gave you the news? It was actually a really, really funny story. So I think my mom and my agent had kind of talked, my mom and my manager had talked, so they both knew. But she texted my really good friend, and we were at, we were doing Mamma Mia at my school, and we were at Sits Probe, which is when you kind of sing through all the music with the band for the first time. And I remember she like was holding her phone, but I didn't <laughs> notice that. She just looked like chalky pale and like really freaked out. And I almost, I, she took a video because she was waiting for my agent to call. They wanted to have it on video, which oh was very gosh. good to them. But in the video, I'm like, are you all right? Are you all right? You look, <laughs> pale. You look crazy. Anyway, and then, um, and then they called me and I like, freaked out I, I kind of ran into the hallway and like I don't know it was great it was really funny and really nice to share that moment with my friend yeah that's such an amazing moment to have in your life and to be able to have it saved forever like you just said a minute ago this tv yeah. show will be saved forever now that moment will be saved forever that, yeah the moment. moment where I go up to her and I'm like are you okay are you okay <laughs> Turn on, I turn on like therapist mode. I was like, oh no, something happened. I was like, it, it was very funny. She looked so, she was like, she looked really like freaked out. Like she was, uh, she was trying to hold a secret in. It was very funny. Well, very maybe that's something else for uh, Netflix to play with. Dr. Jamie MD coming next fall. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, well, Country Comfort <laughs> premieres on March 19th. Catherine McPhee plays an aspiring young country singer who finally finds the band she's been missing when she takes on the job of a nanny for the five children of a rugged cowboy. That's going to be coming up. So many great things to look forward to. Let's look back real quick. You were born just an hour away from New York City in Westport, Connecticut. Other than acting, what did life look like for you growing up? What were you into? 
Well, believe it or not, so my parents had a house in the town that I live in right now, which is Westport, Connecticut. And then we moved to Spain for five years. Wow. And my dad lived in Spain for five years. So I actually, for those first five years of my life, I was fluent in Spanish. I basically thought in Spanish. It was, um, yeah, very uh, integral. And I try and keep speaking Spanish now, but you know, it's hard once you get back to the States. But we ended up moving back to the same town. And when I moved back, you know, I was training a lot. I was doing singing, acting, and dancing. I was dancing a lot, a lot of ballet, a lot of ballet training. And then when I was at home, I was running around the, I live right by a beach. So I was running around the beach with my friends and doing normal childish kid things, playing ding dong, dong ditch and stuff like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> so a little Dennis the Menace as a young kid, huh? Absolutely. No, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. Nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, imagine with, with being able to speak Spanish and being able to, you know, be a dancing, singing. I'm surprised West Side Story has never come into your, into your uh, resume. There. I love that show. Yeah. I've never really gotten the opportunity to be, um, to be in a production of West Side Story, but I am obsessed with that show. It's, it's an incredible movie and show. So, I hope I get to be in that show sometime in my life. That'd be amazing. Between theatrics and then also, you know, just being an entertainer that you are, you've had so much of your past on stage, now switching to on screen. When did this all start? When did the passion to get into acting begin? And when did you realize this was something you were really interested in? You know, I, I started ballet when I was in second grade and then I knew I kind of loved being a part of the arts at that point. I loved um, I loved dancing. So my mom thought, you know, do you want to try maybe acting? And I said, sure, I don't know, I don't care. So we set up an appointment with, um, with my manager who is still my manager today, Dave. He's fantastic. And I walked in and I, my mom, as we were driving up, she was like, oh, you might have to sing. Do you know any songs? And we came up with The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow from Annie. So I sang The Sun Will Come Out to from Tomorrow from Annie, which um, looking back is an interesting choice for a <laughs> seven-year-old boy, but you know, it worked apparently. And since then I've been going out on auditions and I'd never gotten the opportunity to do anything on screen before. I had gone out on auditions for different movies and shows and stuff like that. But this was the, the first project that I auditioned for that kind of came to fruition. So that was really, really exciting. And the fact that I was a series regular, I mean, it's insane. It's so, it was so much fun. And I'm, I feel so lucky, so lucky. Well, on stage, you've acted in Billy Elliot, Win dixie you've danced in The Nutcracker. When you're on a live stage though, anything that can go wrong, a lot of times will go wrong. Do you have any stories of things that didn't quite go as planned from your time in the live performance? Oh, I feel like I could come up with so many. Well, <laughs> two come to mind. One time I was playing Billy, I was in Billy Elliot, and um, he has this like bag that he always kind of has on his arm. Right. And it's got this like really long strap that goes around it. Um, and I remember I have to th I had to throw the bag down in a scene where I was angry or something and <laughs> I went to throw the bag down and this long strap caught onto my arm and it swung all the way into the pit and I remember like <laughs> I like froze because I was like I need that bag like there's stuff in there that I need for the next scene what am I gonna do um so that was not a fun moment and then another time same show we had to there was a lot that was going on in that show. So it was very technical. One time we, we have to throw on these tap shoes and we, they didn't like, we were all disorganized as to which tap shoe was for which person. And the kid that I was dancing with had shoes that were like three size smaller than mine. And we had like maybe eight counts to throw on our shoes. And I tried <laughs> to get the shoe on and it was like way too small, but I managed to jam it into my, jam my foot into the shoe. So those were two that come to mind, but I feel like there's been so many things that have happened and it's um it's all a learning experience. It's kind of fun when it does. You kind of learn how to um how to adjust to stuff like that, especially uh, in live theater. I was gonna say I would love to see the show behind the show. If there was cameras backstage at a theater production, I think that would be can't miss television. It, like <laughs> you trying to switch and steal different shoe before you go and run out on stage because or your backpack being flown into the orchestra. Yeah, it's so, I mean, I, yeah, there's so many inner workings that go on behind the scenes from a show. It's, that's kind of one of my favorite parts. And being in high school, I kind of, I got to learn more about that because obviously um, the shows that we do at my high school are student run, but that means that I have more responsibility behind the scenes than just being an actor. So it's really nice getting to work with all my friends because I learn a lot about the behind the scenes that I didn't know before I started acting in high school, which um, I'm really thankful for. 
Do, okay, so for someone that has been so involved with theater and television cinema in general, were you involved in theater at all at your high school? Were there any high school productions were you involved with? Or were you kind of, at this point, so busy with theater and, um, you know, cinema and television on a professional level that you didn't have the time to do the extracurricular theater at school? I actually no. I I I've been super super involved with my um my theater program at my school, Staples Players, shouting them out because they're amazing. We do we do really awesome shows. I got to in my freshman year we did the piloted version of Newsies um because it had just come off Broadway. So Disney let us my high school kind of pilot the version to see what the script would be like when they sent it to other schools so they could do it. So that I got to do my freshman year, which was such an incredible production. I got to. Yeah, I mean, I was in all the shows. We did Mamma Mia, which was so much fun. I, I have loved my time doing extracurricular theater. I um, it's so much fun. It's so special. I think I, my friends are so incredibly talented. So getting to work with them has been super fun. And yeah, I I love I love my theater in my school. It's it's like my second family. I think. Oh, well, there's ten episodes set for release soon of Country Comfort coming on March 19th. Have you figured out what you're gonna do when you watch the first episode? Any watch party with the family planned, or how will you? Uh, are you gonna be too busy with school? I personally like really don't like watching myself, but I think I will probably have some sort of watch party with my friends and my family. Um, obviously staying safe with COVID, but I will probably hide in the corner of the room the whole time because I get really stressed out when I have to watch myself. It, uh, I don't know. It's freaky. <laughs> but, uh, go ahead. Yeah. No, I'm just excited for my friends to see it. I'm excited for everyone to see it. So I guess i'll get i guess i'll tough uh, tough it out i'll tough it out i'll watch it with everybody who wants to watch it I'm, there's I'm gonna be so many people that are able to watch it because netflix is just such a platform that it's out there people are going to be able to see it so i'm yeah. excited for you to be able to check that out all right the final five this is uh the last five questions of the interview and they are all about you right now the first question is who do you speak with the most right now uh i'd probably have to go with my friend maddie and sophie talk to them a lot what item do you use each day other than your cell phone? Um, toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you use each day. <laughs> it's body wash, hygiene stuff, yeah. <laughs> when did you know that you wanted to pursue acting as a career? Um, probably after my first Billy Elliot performance when I kind of took that bow and everyone was clapping, I was really surreal and fun so i think then i kind of knew that was what i wanted to do where is your dream vacation i've never been to hawaii and i really want to go to hawaii so. yes preach okay volcanoes beaches warm well, weather what's not to like no i i don't know i mean i've never been there so i assume nothing but <laughs> i guess i'll have to see i'll have to make sure for myself <laughs> absolutely i mean it, it, it's basically i would imagine similar to los angeles without the earthquakes you trade earthquakes for volcanoes right yeah, yeah. casual <laughs> yeah uh, final question for you how do you define success do i define i think success in yourself kind of comes from just being happy so like finding the joy in um in the endeavors that you pursue and not just getting joy from the kind of excitement that comes from completing a goal but working towards that goal and um i think you're only successful when you're confident in yourself so you kind of have to forget about what other people think of you and I think you're successful if you have your own self-confidence. That's that's an important thing, in my opinion, for success. Well, he's Jamie Martin Mann. You can see him portraying the role of Brody in Netflix's new comedy series, Country Comfort, set to release on March 19th. Jamie, thank you so much for giving us some of your time today. Thank you. It was awesome. So much fun.